Hey, I'm Corsac, and this is Late Night City. Okay, 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 okay. Everybody got their fast travel, buddy? Hello, stranger. Welcome to the Centerfield Greenhouse. I'm Dr. McClintock, botanist and owner. Can I help you with anything? The Centerfield Greenhouse is where I conduct my research into ionizing radiation on plant life. I'm trying to understand and harness the consequences of the increased genetic plasticity found in them since the war. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about it. I heard about Lily stomping her power armor through the bleachers with a motorcycle engine strapped to it. <laughs> was it you that helped her? This structure wasn't originally a greenhouse. In fact, the entire second story was collapsed in on the first. There was no actual second floor left. Mr. Dr. Pepper gathered his friends, and together we filled the entire first floor with soil from under the stadium foundation. The soil you're standing on goes all the way down to street level. You're in what is effectively a giant glass-covered flower pot. However, soil quality was very poor. That seems structurally and unsound. Of sustaining the heavy turnover of carbon fixed materials in the greenhouse today. I've been working with materials from Vault 81, Brahmin dung, and standard fertilizer, but I really need industrial strength soil interventions. That's where you come in. Are you up to hunting down large quantities of pre-war chemicals? For large quantities of caps. But make sure you're prepared. It's stored in large drums. They're big, super heavy, and must remain perfectly sealed. Only I had a power armored clad sidekick to help. That's wonderful news. I need you to find as much urea as possible to replenish the nitrogen content of my soil. It's big, heavy, and usually stored dry. Make sure you have enough space to carry it back when you find it. You should start your search in any chemical plants and warehouses, or even farms, particularly high production or poor soil quality farms. Centerfield Greenhouse. I'll wear your guts around my neck! Nope. I'm out. Hmm. I don't know, Babs. I don't see it anywhere in here. You sure you didn't leave it in one of the other corners? Yes, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Just keep looking. I swear sometimes these vines grow too fast to keep up. I am looking, sis. And this is the second time this month this has happened. You gotta learn to keep better track of these things. What did you lose? Did you try between the brain the fungus and the blight over there on the left? There's a place on the rocks I usually put the supplements. You check it. I ain't getting nowhere near that creepy glowing green brain of yours. Ugh. I swear that thing is looking at me. It can't hurt you, Lily. It's just a highly evolved species of Gyromitra esculenta that coordinates supplement distribution in the greenhouse. Lily. Oh, you know what? Come to think of it, there was a ring on it. Look for the reflection of the luminescence off the metal. Supplements. Right. You know how messed up this is? I know I left it down here somewhere. <clears throat> You're back. Can I safely assume that large pre-war drum you brought with you is the urea I asked for? Dog me. What, what are you doing, buddy? Excellent. This is integral to proper conditioning of the soil. Here's your payment. I still have more work if you're interested. Oh, Lily, one last thing before Hopefully you go. Hopefully slightly better caps. I got word caps. of another chemical supply, and I need someone with some experience to get it for me. Lenny said he came across some anhydrous ammonia while picking through Cambridge Mass Chemical in the loading bay. This is an important one. That's why I'm asking you. My plants go through a lot of nitrogen, and this would take care of them for over a year. It's going to be liquid, and you don't want to spill it on yourself. I don't know how big or what shape the tank will be, though. Lenny, huh? He's probably sold that tip to five other people by now. That guy's slimier than a bog ghoul. Yeah, undoubtedly. It wouldn't be the first time you met another courier at the same hall, both working on the same tip from Lenny. But we've never had problems with batch chemicals. I can't imagine there's that many people interested in anhydrous ammonia. Well... 
Maybe extra smart raiders making chems, but Lenny isn't exactly brave enough to deal with that sort. He's afraid of Mr. Sphincter, after all. What? I'd ask you what it does, but I can barely pronounce it. Cambridge, huh? Yeah, that's not far. I can go scout it out first, see what I'm dealing with. It'll be easier than lugging a Brahmin or my power armor all the way over there. Sure, I can handle it. After I do a favor for Rizzo. He got a message to me through Lucas. Said something about dogs needing cats. It was hard to understand. You know how Adam cats talk. <laughs> yes, of course. A few days doesn't matter. <gasps> so Rizzo needs a favor, huh? He's got you wrapped around his little finger. Hey, now. That's my man you're talking about. Nobody disrespects him. Except me. And only to you. We don't see each other as often as we'd like since I moved back here. Now it's just when I do power armor runs for the sheriff every couple of weeks. I'm just teasing you, Lily. Of course you should go see what Rizzo needs. They're all the way out in the middle of nowhere by themselves. You can't just choose who you love. You could be wrapped around the finger of a jerk, but you've at least got Rizzo. There are lots of girls in Diamond City who would walk over coals to call him theirs, but he's yours. Oh, speaking of Adam Cat desirables, Lenny said to tell you he saw a motorcycle in the loading bay at Mass Chemical, too. Another bike? Hot damn! That's two back to back! I mean, yeah, this won't be new, but if it's intact, there's some good pickings. Well, now I'm gonna have to go check out what Rizzo wants extra fast, so I can get over there and strip down that bike. And I know just the person to help me. What do you say? Want to come with me to make some caps and meet some of the coolest customers together. in the Commonwealth? <laughs> nice quest. Sorry, I don't have any more info than that. The message came through Lucas Miller. He needs help. Something about cats and dogs. I'm in. <laughs> awesome! You get to meet the gang, you know. I'm gonna go get my gear together. Come see me at my room when you're ready. Oh, and Babs? Hmm? Yes, Lily? I found your severed hand. Here you go. What? Great! Thanks, Lily. That would have started smelling pretty awful in another day or so. Good luck out there. Be careful. Word is Quincy's gunners are pretty well dug in by now. Why? Why? Hello there! Hi, Riz! Rizzo! There you are! Hey, babe! I got the message you gave Lucas. Well, damn, babe. Took you a while, but I'm glad you came. So what's been up with my main girl? Main girl, huh? Better be your only girl, or I'll put your nuts under an angle grinder, you hear? <laughs> See, that's why I dig on you, Lily. You're all hard, but still down for a fight. So, um, who's this sucker you got dragging around the joint? Suck. Yeah. Well, my next run for Bob also has an old motorcycle in the same building. I brought some help so we can wrap this up quick. Don't want anyone else getting their rat claws on a motorcycle before I have a chance to strip it down, you know? Oh, speaking of which, my friend here helped me get a piece of pre-war Americana that's gonna turn Zeke greener than a glowing one. You know that motor at the Quavega plant that Zeke's been eyeing since he was a kid? Oh shit. I know that look. You did something risky, didn't you? Mm-hmm, sure did. Keep it on the down low until I can tell him myself, though. Okay, putting in work. I see you. Just make sure I'm there when you tell Zeke. It should be funny as hell to watch. Ah, there'll be plenty of time to get under his skin later, babe. Let's get back to business. What is this Lucas was saying about cats and dogs? Right, right, right. Sorry, I'm just happy to see you is all. So Juke had his ear to the ground and caught wind of something when he was out scabbing. It's some real bad shit, worse than usual. I go handle myself, but I need to be here in case the gunners start crawling up our asses. I need you to do me this solid, please. Oh, of course, hon. What is it? You just name it. Those fucking raiders got themselves a dog fighting ring. A dog fighting ring? What? Those bastards are making those dogs kill themselves for kicks. I need you to go solve this problem for me, babe. Ooh, those motherfuckers. Where the fuck are they? I'm gonna rip their heads off and shit down their necks. I'm gonna stomp a giant mud hole in their asses and walk it dry. Holy shit. How could... I, I just... I, I don't... Where are they? 
Calm down. Calm down. I'll calm down when those fuckers are all dead. No more <coughs> talk. Give me your 12 gauge rounds, Rizzo. Where the fuck are they? What if I had a name of the way the bombs? I knew I, I liked Lily. Lexington. Some bar on the Renault apartment building. Take what you can carry. I got plenty of slugs here to keep the gunners dancing for me. But watch your back and light their asses up for me one time. We're moving out right away. We got doggos that need help. You coming or not? Fuck yeah, I'm coming. Cold day in hell before I let those bastards get their hands on our power armor. Let's go. Talk to the guard. Raider douchebag. Not another step. We'll let you through for 500 caps. No more talk. I see dogs in there. We kill now. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Lily, Who's Lily, you Lily. Like, your grandmother? Just had to play hero, huh? You just made this person a shithead. <laughs> Get him, dog meat. Joint. Where the fuck are you? Oh shit, oh shit, this ain't good. You! You're the one! Get over here! Oh, oh, oh god, you are so fucking dead! You hear me? I said get over here! Bitch, you're gonna hold still while I'm killing you! Where? I didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing? But that's not what this looks like to me, asshole. Think killing dogs is some sort of fun sport? Do you, motherfucker? Well, I got a new game we can try. It's called Kill the Douchebag. Look, now, you gotta do something. This bitch is crazy. Shut up. I'm not done telling you how we play my game. Get in the cage, bitch. No, no, I I'm sorry. I'll do anything. Please don't. D don't make me get in there. No. <laughs> did, did you really just tell the person with the gun on you no? What sort of stable genius are you? Please. I had to get by somehow. I didn't want to do this, but I had no choice. Don't kill me, please. D hmm. Well, it is tough times out there. Everyone just trying to get by. Folks got no choice. I hear that. Hey, I've been in similar situations myself. And you know what you didn't you do? You know, well, I'll tell you a little secret. I used to be a raider like yourself. Until I took a shotgun shell to the knee. Really? What? Really? You were? Wait. No. No, I was wrong. That was you I was thinking of. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, my leg! Motherfucker, you shot me in the leg! <laughs> oh no, bummer. That looks like it hurts pretty bad. You okay? You got more limbs. Well, what a coincidence. I got more ammo. Get in that cage. Now. Okay. Okay, don't shoot. I'm going. Maybe we just kill him. I'm going. Might give the dogs indigestion. No way is this worth it! Get off me! Oh, I thought he might get a shot off for a second. Good riddance, asshole. All right, now let's spring these doggos. Oh, puppas! 
Come here, sweetie. Hey, guys. Let me give you a good scratch. Look at those wiggle butts. They're so happy. Now, which good boys want a forever home, huh? Olius? I got a place for you all to be silly dogs. Lots of my friends to love you babies forever. Oh. Let's get these guys back to the Adam Cat's garage. It's gonna be a hike, but uh, they're worth it. Our gang just got a lot bigger. Okay, 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 okay. Everybody got their fast travel, buddy. All right, I'm gonna trust you. Right, you're in charge, goggles. All right. Hey, babe. Guess who's back with some happy puppas? Oh. Damn, Lily. Y'all really handled it. Look at them all. We're gonna get these little monsters right. Best believe that. <gasps> Not monsters. Adorable. Oh, a lot of you. You had me Let's a little scare the short. bandana. There were a whole lot of raiders out that way. There wasn't any stopping me on this, and you know it. That's why you asked me. Damn straight. We're gonna give these guys a good home. Warm beds, a decent meal, the whole shebang. Can you dig it? Aw, oh, you're a saint, hun. That's why I brought him back here. That and we can't have him shitting all over the bleaches. I'll admit, I probably wouldn't have made it back without my new friend here. Got pretty hairy down at the ring. Real tight quarters. But if that's how it is, you should yourself in a doorway. We're always looking for new cats down for the cause. You guys gonna chill for a sec before heading back out? It's been a hot minute since I've seen you, babe. Normally I would. You know that. But I gotta get that motorcycle at Mass Chem before anyone else can strip it. <laughs> I know the scabber that Bob told about it. He's a grease ball with a big mouth to boot. Guarantee he sold that tip to a few other people already. But then, you know, I got another PA run to make for the sheriff when I'm done with that, so I'll be back in a couple of days. I'll even stay a few nights, okay? I got you. I'll be here doing what I do best. Watch your back out there. I'm gonna get going back to Diamond City. Hose the blood off my power armor. <laughs> Swing by there and I'll have your caps waiting. Hopefully repair it. Ah, <clears throat> oh, there you are. Look, I can't thank you enough for your help with the dogs. People like you are rare in this world. We also got to talking, and uh, we wondered if you wanted to swing by the left field for dinner tonight. Get some free food, get to know the gang a little. Nothing fancy, DP's just making some razor grain spaghetti. But after the whole dog thing, you're eating for free tonight. <laughs> We're pretty loose here, so show up if you're interested. Don't if not. 6.30 tonight at the diner, okay? Okay. See, let's have dinner. Hey, Doc. Hello again. Good to see you. Yo. So, welcome to our, well, whatever you want to call this little weekly thing we have going on here. We just call it dinner night. <laughs> I do have to say, DP outdid himself this time with this setting. It's usually just the four of us at a booth. Mm. Mom's spaghetti smells amazing. Oh yeah. Well, is there actually I guess a mom? Kind of started as a bored DP talking to me while I ate, and he Where's swept that? the floors after dinner. Just the name anything. of the dish. <laughs> like a lot of Bleacher's family things in here go, it didn't really start in earnest until Lily swept into this place on our lives. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Yeah, she's something else, isn't she? She grew up in Diamond City with Zeke and DP. I'm sure she told you that already. But the Bleacher's district didn't exist back then. Nobody had been in this area of Diamond City in almost two centuries until DP chased that cat in here. So Lily's really taken the bleachers to heart. Between runs, more often than not, she's cleaning the place and making it into a home. <laughs> but I digress. I guess I'm just saying Lily makes sure these dinners happen and we're glad for it. She says there's nothing like the family you choose. Even got it in her head to invite the sheriff one day as a joke. And she showed up. She almost never says anything, but she keeps coming. Huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> we never expected her to show. DP even had to scramble to get a place set. The look on Lily's face was priceless. Total shock. I'm glad she did show up, though. We had been trying to crack that ice for a while by then, and she's not the friendliest person in the Commonwealth. The sheriff isn't the type for idle chat. Keeps even skipping on these nights, some dialogue. I'm not sure why. Him as much as the rest of us, or she wouldn't keep coming. Quite the contrary, it helps her maintain an effective force. She's very respected by her troops and a brilliant strategist. She was born and raised Brotherhood of Steel, educated and trained in the pre-war military academy tradition, if what I heard is true. She didn't see eye to eye with some of their more authoritarian tendencies, and tried to help a town that had water filter tech the gunners wanted. 
I'm told her squad repelled them, but she lost her whole arm, four knights, and some civilian militia by the time it was over. Damn. It was very intense. Costly victory for no Wait. strategic gain is the gist of what the Brotherhood of Steel had to say about her decision. She told me herself they made her a scribe and refused to replace the arm. That's not the half of it. Her entire squad got punished too. Every last one of them bumped down to scribe. When is this supposed to take place? If she's Brotherhood, lives. she's already here. So they did what any principled and strategically minded squad would do in that situation. Loaded two vertebrates up with a small plasma arsenal and over a dozen full T-60 power armor units in the middle of the night and deserted the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> yep. They stayed under the Brotherhood of Steel radar until they were able to locate the outcasts, a faction of ex-Brotherhood knights who also weren't fans of fascism. She gave them the vertebrates, they gave her an arm and her squad a home and a purpose again. It was a win-win. You mean what happened to the dozen or so T-60s she took with her, right? That's some pretty valuable cargo. That gets into how she and the power armor ended up here. That's a long story for another time, and not a particularly happy one. Anyway, Lily told me about how you guys went out and saved those dogs. That's pretty amazing anyone would do that in this day and age. They're People dogs. barely help they each other, it. much less dogs. It makes me glad to know they'll be people running around are questionable. the garage now. Speaking of doing odd jobs for people, I had a chance to analyze some soil test results, and I've got some work if you're still interested. I'd normally send Lily, but she'll be on that ammonia run that has that motorcycle salvage at the loading dock of Mass Chem we mentioned earlier. We can talk about it after dinner. It's good you showed up when you did. I'd rather not lean so heavily on Lily for my transport jobs. She spends a lot of time on the road already. Good evening, Sheriff. Can I safely assume Lily pestered you today while on duty to tell you about our guest of honor here? Whoa. Mm, she wouldn't be Lily if she hadn't. Very Furiosa. Yes. Well, this is the person that helped her with that motorcycle and the dogs in that story she's no doubt told you a dozen times by now. <clears throat> uh, yes. Well, mm. DP has cooked up something special tonight, as you can see. We've got razor green spaghetti, tato sauce, and warm bread. I'm sure it will be fine. So, did you get a chance to see Dr. Scara about your shoulder? You mentioned the abduction was slower than usual last week. Yes. And? <laughs> and what? And what was the problem? Was she able to fix it? Yes. We hunted down an Assaultron, quartered it with a Ripper, and I replaced the glenohumeral joint entirely. That's, uh, good, I suppose. The gunner squad it came from would argue, if they were still alive. I assume they didn't just want to give well, a perfectly functional Assaultron to a stranger for free, did they? Say severe you don't ask gunners. Personality. <laughs> Good point. Yes. Did you read Piper's article about McDonough? Yes. <laughs> and? And what? And what do you think of it? Do you think he's a simp? Oh, she Hard to said. say, maybe. Dr. Penske told me never attribute to malice that which can be adequately explained by stupidity. Boom. Do you think one can be so witless that their unwitting cooperation <laughs> is so gross and negligent that it can appear to be collusion to an outsider? Or incompetence. Well, yes. In this case, incompetence would apply too. <laughs> I suppose it is possible the Witless can be such an unwitting puppet of a hostile power that it can appear like full cooperation. Witless, huh? Let me guess which stable genius in a tan suit we're talking about here. <laughs> How's it hanging, bleacher creatures? Oh, man, that's gonna be some good dinner. Hey there! Hey, I'm glad you made it out here tonight. Wasn't sure you'd be up for it since it's such a long haul back from the Atom Cat's garage. I need one of those hats. Mm, you sure. be first. Thank you, camera. We spend the last how many years trying to get you to voluntarily open your mouth, and once you do, it's to knock me? Damn. <laughs> At any rate, yes, Lily, we were talking about Piper's article on McDonough. That overgrown windbag's a sin, I'm telling you. Or wandering around, do doing exactly jack shit up there all day, talking about how busy he is. Unbelievable. You know it's true, Sheriff. You've seen it. I tell you what, wh why don't you march up there in your power armor and throw him off the balcony? Do us all a favor. Okay, okay. We've been over this, Lily. Every week we do this, sis. You know what she's gonna tell you. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
She doesn't do military coups. He hasn't actually committed any crimes. It's up to us at the ballot box. Or, you know. Lily. In the dead of night with a sharp blade across the throat. Then we're no better than the Brotherhood. It's not that easy, and you know it. The sheriff can't just go in there and do what she wants. He's got rights until it's proven he's a sin. Oh, it just, it makes me so mad. He's not just doing nothing. He's standing in the way of anyone else trying to do something. Temper. Well, what happens when it's one of us that gets kidnapped, huh? What in the goddamn hell does the Institute want with us anyway? Scared, confused, angry, hostile, suspicious. Whatever they're feeling about it at the particular time, it's not good. You're the scientist. Why the hell are they replacing us? This obviously isn't a PR campaign. We just end up hating them and sense more. They can swarm over this city at any friggin' time with those fucking toasters of theirs, and McDonough will probably open the door for them. Makes no goddamn sense. I agree, they make no sense. I can't figure out a motivation. I'm sure this isn't Colonel Ty. As a whole. Neither can the sheriff. Damn. It's almost like the kidnappings were a poorly thought out plot device wedged into a nebulous story by someone who thought it would just work. It would be comical if they weren't an existential threat. Mm. You must be new here. Let me clarify. Just about everyone in the Commonwealth knows what they're responsible for. Which is the primary reason we've been monitor- That's enough. Of course. That was careless of me. Apologies. <laughs> As you just heard, I'm not at liberty to discuss Plan B. The less you know, the safer you are from the Institute. You know, I heard they got a brain sucker device. Oh, good. <laughs> Suck what you know right out of there. Read it like <laughs> the a book. eyes. I said that's enough. Button it up now, Lily. Right now, we've got to stick to Piper's unofficial <gasps> strategy. We delegitimize McDonough and then get him out of office. God damn it! But we gotta do something. What Piper did put time on our side. Every day that goes by, more people think he's a sin, and the less support he has. If the election were today, he'd lose. We've just got to keep the pressure on, keep pushing for action and answers on those kidnappings. Did your child go missing, ma'am? I'm sorry about that, but I'm far too busy to talk. I'm the mayor, you know, but you have my thoughts and prayers. <laughs> hey, DP. Hey, this dinner smells amazing. DP here, he does a killer mayor impersonation. Citizens of Diamond City, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, humans and synths. My institute programmers would like me to run a rebuttal software routine and offer a simulated response to Piper's unfounded accusations. And I promise you I will, the moment it finishes loading, which should be any sec. Ladies and gentlemen of Diamond City, the institute would like me to address, <laughs> I mean, I would like to say a few things regarding these rumors. My fellow human beings, of which I am definitely one. Since being elected, despite all of my words, actions, policies, thoughts, and decisions, I assure you, people of name of city, I am not a level 5 institute synth operative with special 4B clearance due to extreme depth of infiltration. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm far too busy doing things that human beings do to do my job and search for missing citizens. I'm the human mayor, after all. End of file. So I heard you guys over here talking about the jackass. Figured we could use a laugh. So yeah, thanks for coming out again, my friends. It's amazing how you always manage to show up for free food. Tonight, we got mom's spaghetti, guaranteed to cure weak knees, heavy arms, and sweaty palms. Careful though, it may stain your shirt. I baked a well-timed batch of fresh hot bread just for dinner. But the tata sauce tonight is something special I worked on just for the occasion. I gotta tell you, DP, I have never seen a spread like this. You went all out. Looks like the table the companions have in your Vasker Hall in White Run. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what now? Huh? <laughs> yeah, what you just said. The what a where? Who? I didn't say nothing. But you. I mean, I can swear you just said. Mm, better get your hearing checked, DP. Told you I ain't said nothing. You were gonna tell us about dinner tonight? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the sauce. Of course. I started with the tato base, of course. But Bob took me through the upper floor of a greenhouse and let me have that. Nice! Oh, it didn't end there, Lily. You know how Wellenham's always got some new spices going on about? Or a new dish he wants to try? 
I remember hauling a bag of behemoth nuts in my power armor for him, so he could make his great green oysters dish. <sighs> it's called a scrotum, sis. Ew, what the fuck? We're about to eat! Sorry, just trying to help. Yeah, I bet. Anyway, <laughs> tell us about the sauce, DP. Where's Wellingham come into this? Behemoth scrotum. God damn it! <laughs> you know, now that you mention it, Lily, it is kind of a strangely specific ingredient what for a dish. What a segue. <laughs> See? I'm not the only one who thinks behemoth scrotum is a weird item to have to haul. Huh? What is? The behemoth scrotum. Oh, motherfucker. Great. Just great. Now, now I'm saying it. All right, all right. Where were we? Oh, yeah. So Wellham's always gone on about the crushed red pepper that Latterin got him a few months ago. So I figured this was a good occasion as any to borrow it. Permanently. Without asking. My man! Bob brings one of her new... 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 Neodymium iron boron. That was my next guess. Anyway, it's a strong-ass magnet. Do I, uh, want to know what sort of strange blood-eating plant things you create with powerful magnets in that greenhouse of yours? Hardly. It's to condense iron-rich microbeads coated with high-avidity molecules based on specific application. Clearly. Generally, I use it to isolate, purify, and concentrate cellular fractions without the need for larger equipment and refrigeration units. You know, I heard that people in other parts of the world spoke other languages, but I ain't never heard them. Not till you moved here with that technical babble. And then the sheriff shows up with that Latin stuff. Scientia ipsa potentia est. I don't try to understand neither, Lily. Anyway, she puts this thing on well in his head. He immediately goes haywire. Tripped his Mr. Gutsy switch. But since he's got the wrong hardware, he basically just started screaming, Communists! And spraying everyone down with his dishwasher jet. <laughs> Ann Codman runs out of that oh little corral of a restaurant screaming her head off. And of course, that dunce husband of hers runs after her. And since it's the Codmans, every security guard is more concerned with kissing her ass and helping than figuring out what's wrong with Wellingham. Typical. Uh huh. You're telling me. I've been saying it since I saw his mother drop him on his head. <laughs> that Danny Sullivan kid is as useless as tits on a sin. Long story short. It was just us and a neutered Mr. Gutsy up there after a few seconds. I stuffed some spices into my jacket, Bob grabbed us a recipe box, and we're out of there. Real smooth. I hope. Well, then we'll probably be okay. Last I saw he was asking random strangers to enlist in the army. Hell yeah! Score one more for the bleachers! Thanks. I try. As I was saying, we got some extra kick in the sauce tonight with that pepper. I got some cloves, molasses, and cinnamon, too. So the honey tonight is going to be unlike anything we ever had before. Make sure you get some of that on the bread, too. Really? Now this I'm interested in hearing. Well, you know ghouls used to live in Diamond City before McDipshit kicked them out, right? It was an extremely short-sighted maneuver. They possess immeasurable knowledge and experience. We could benefit from their wisdom. I agree. I've never been able to talk to more than two in my life. It's amazing what they have to say if you just listen. Scapegoating a fringe minority is a time-honored tradition of weak politicians everywhere, DP. Of course I remember. So I still keep in touch with a few through Doc Weathers. They moved to a big swimming pool facility one of them knew from before the war. The building was in pretty good shape. So they stayed in that and they farmed some of the best tarberries I've ever tasted out of the pool. Lily here would know who he was. Remember Wiseman and his buddies? Sure do. You know, looking back, it doesn't surprise me he went his own way instead of heading the good neighbor with the rest of the ghouls. Yeah, me either. He had his own ideas of what to do after McDipshit took office. And getting pissed off didn't seem to be one of them. Anyway, the short version of that story is the honey has some tarberry juice in it along with the rest of the spices. I think you'll like it. That sounds delicious, DP. Thanks for going to so much trouble. Hey, this is a happy occasion. We got a lot of doggos in New Home. And these two got rid of a few more raiders. Hey. And don't forget the spices we got. Speaking of raiders, is it true what Lily said? Pop that fucker in the knee and let the dogs finish him off? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the truth. <laughs> Damn! Very impressive, Lily. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know just how crazy you were. I'm glad you did. Even more glad you're on our side. We punched the fuck out of their tickets so hard, their ghosts have gunshot wounds and <laughs> cleaned out ghost clocks on their fixed little red wagons. Ah, 
That's my girl. <laughs> and Sheriff, you'll be proud to know that axe you gave me? Tomahawk. Thanks for noticing. Anyway, you'll be happy to know that thing can open a raider's brain case easier than it can open a melon. Yes, I know. Hmm. Fine. Fine. DP's being friendly. Uh, DP, how's that thing that makes Nuka-Cola from those big weird bags you got coming? Well, what's it called? The, uh, the... the soda whatever? Fountain. Soda fountain. Well, it's looking pretty good, I think. I'm trying to get a handle on what parts I have and still need. You still need the problem is all the folks who knew soda how it syrup. Are long dead. So I'm teaching myself Although that's probably along, not that hard to actually make slow. once you can get the sugar. Takes the stuff in that bag, mixes it with some of Bob's water, and gives it bubbles? All on the spot, right? Yeah. Yep. That's exactly what I'm saying. Got a few invoices telling me where more of the syrup is, but it's way over in Nuka World, surrounded by assholes with tiny dicks and big guns. So it makes sense to actually get the machine up and running, and able to use the stock I got on hand before paying someone to get more. I think that sounds like a nice addition to the diner. Yeah, it is. In more ways than one. I don't have to worry about a steady supply of sealed bottles now. One way or another, the supply of bottles in the area is going to dry up eventually, which just leaves me high and dry. Am I actually no going to have to go out to Nuka World? But if nobody's touch was at the factory, and the invoices are right, that's enough soda for years and years. I don't know, that sounds like an awful lot of those bags. <laughs> it is, but not as much as you'd think. We ain't trying to feed a stadium during playoffs no more. But the sips who filled the order were. There's a lot fewer of us now, and I got a good handle on how many bottles I need a week to keep this place running. Trust me, Lil. There's enough to keep this place running for the rest of our lives. Well, that sounds like some great news for the bleachers in general. Gonna upset Wellingham something fierce. Codman's gonna get her ass in a twist, too. Up a stance, just some white picket fence. Anyway, what are we waiting for? Come on, guys, let's eat. Now that is the best plan I've heard all day. 